time to read without gomita. It's hora de leer con tía gomita. And the story that I bring you today is Henry Wants More. It's written by Linda Ashman and is illustrated by Brooke Bolton Hughes. Do you know what this story is about? Well, it's about this little guy that has a lot of energy. Everybody is ready for bed, except, ta -da -da -da. let's find out. Let's... Papa's lifting Henry high above his head. Henry's face is joyful. Papa's face is red. Up and up and up again. His arms are getting sore. Papa stops to catch his breath, but Henry hollers, more! Grandma plays piano. It's Henry's favorite song. Henry on her lap claps and sings along. She plays it once. She plays it twice. She loses count at ten. Our ears are getting weary, but Henry cheers again. Lucy plays the piggy game, tickling Henry's toes. Then Peekaboo and Pada Cake and every game she knows. It's a bitsy spider. Where's your belly? Who says roar? Lucy says, I had enough. Not Henry. He says more. Everybody's getting tired, but Henry's still having a lot of energy. Oh, God. Charlie raises Henry up and down the street to the tree and back again. Tree and back. Repeat. Charlie starts to talk out his loss a bit and then he tumbles on the shady lawn. But Henry shouts again. Here's Henry's house. Let's see. Charlie is playing with Henry here. Daddy is playing in the other room with him too. Then daddy comes downstairs. Lucy is playing in the kitchen with him. In here, grandma is singing with him. And here, mom is painting. Here, uh, they are outside with Lu um, Lucy, Charlie, and Henry. Mom is in the swing with him. You can see that they are trying to do a lot of different kind of activities, but he's still a lot of, has a lot of energy. A sun is spinning a tickle chin right across the floor. A race, a chase, a silly face, and Harry's calling more. <laughs> oh my God. They're all laying on the couch. Even though also the, the, the dog and the cat, they are tired. Henry is in his jammies now. The sun's been set a while. He gathers up some bedtime books and stacks them in a pile. Mama says, I'll read you two. But now she's up to four. Her eyes are getting bleary. Then she hears a tiny... Snore. We circle in amazement. Could he really be asleep? Mama eyes us sternly. Whispers, shh, don't make a peep. We watch him softly breathing, laying snug on, on Mama's chest. And last... At last, the house is quiet. At last, we get to rest. Finally, Mama rises, laying Henry in his bed. Then we gently, oh so gently, kiss his sleepy little head. I'm excited, Mama murmurs as we tiptoe through the door. But halfway down the hall, she stops and Mama whispers, More. I should went back to give him another kiss. 
I'm coloring Colorado. This story is over. I hope you enjoy reading with me this time. Bye.